Buttons are among the most important UI elements because they allow users to take actions and actually do something. So it's crucial to know what are the characteristics of a well-designed button and how to create one. Hi everyone, this is Arash and in today's video, you and I are gonna go through the whole process of creating a great button in Figma. If you're ready, let's get started. In order to design a good button, first you should know about its anatomy. A button can have various forms and shapes, but its simplest form is just a short text. It could also have a border or a solid color as its background. Sometimes you may see circular buttons as well. For instance, if you check out the Gmail app, you will see this floating button here. It's actually called a floating action button. Generally, we have four types of buttons. Contained or filled buttons that have a solid color, outline buttons that have a border, text buttons that are usually used for links and less important actions, and toggle buttons that allow users to switch between different states. And depending on your needs, you can choose between them. Optionally, buttons can also include an icon to help the user understand their function. Now let's discuss the things that you should keep in mind when designing a button. The first thing you need to pay attention to when you design a button is size. It's very important to design a button in a way that is easily accessible. One thing many designers forget to keep in mind is that we touch a button using our fingertips on a mobile or tablet screen so it can't be so tiny. The recommended minimum height for a button is 44 pixels. In fact, it could be larger than that in many cases, but make sure not to go over 72 pixels. As for the inner padding, I personally take the vertical padding and multiply it by two to get the horizontal padding. For instance, if the top and bottom padding are set to 16 pixels, I would set the left and right padding to 32 pixels. For mobile and tablet devices, you can also design wider buttons to cover the whole screen's width. The next thing I'd like to point out here is the shape of your button. How should it look? Should you use a button with sharp corners or round corners, or even completely rounded buttons? Well, it depends. Buttons with sharp corners look more professional and they are easier to align with other elements. On the other hand, completely rounded buttons look friendlier, but when you try to left align everything, it would seem a little bit odd. The third option is a rounded button with a lower corner radius value. This way, you can keep your button both friendly and professional. You can choose between these shapes based on the characteristics of a brand and the use case of a button. For instance, if a company uses round corners in their logo and all other assets associated with their brand, it's probably not a good idea to use buttons with sharp corners. The third important point about buttons is the hierarchy. What do I mean by that? Basically, we can have different buttons with different levels of importance. We can have low emphasis, medium emphasis and high emphasis buttons. Let's take a look at this example. Here we have a card with three different buttons, a dismiss button, a cancel button, and a delete button. Now I want you to pause the video for a few seconds and think about their hierarchy. All right, I hope you're done. So which one is a low emphasis button? If your answer is the dismiss button, you are absolutely right. What about these two? Well, the cancel button is medium emphasis and the delete button is high emphasis. So as you can see, multiple button types can be utilized to represent various emphasis levels. Here we have both outlined and contained buttons. When you need to put two buttons either next to each other or on top of each other, it's always a good practice to use different button types to indicate which button is more important than the other and direct the user's eyes to it. Last but not least, make sure to design different states of a button, like hover, tapped, disabled, etc. You should have them all in your design system. All right, now that you have a better understanding of buttons, let's design one in Figma. First, I'm gonna draw a rectangle and set its height to 44 pixels for now. Next, let's add a label to it. I'm gonna write sign in. I'm gonna change the font size to 17 points. Now let's make it completely rounded 
by increasing the corner radius amount up here. Okay, before we check the padding, I'm gonna make this button responsive, and to do that, we need to use auto layout. So I'm gonna select my shape and text layer and hit Shift and A. Now we have a responsive button and we can adjust the padding. Let's set the top and bottom padding to 16 pixels and left and right to 32 pixels. There it is. You've just created a responsive and accessible button. From here, we can go and design other states for it by changing the color or adding some shadows to it. If you have other tips for designing great buttons, please let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you wanna learn more about UI UX design, make sure to check out these two videos. Have a great day and see you soon.